So I think we really need to ask ourselves some soul-searching questions about what is it as an industry that we're trying to deliver. And I think a part of that debate will focus on things like um, level of service, careful risk management, um, you know, perhaps even a broader definition of what we mean by risk, and um, you know, questions pertaining perhaps to the nature of the relationship between the client and uh, the fund manager. I think in order to demonstrate our value, we need to, you know, we hark back to this question of what is it that we're selling? Because and at the moment, the value proposition is centered very much on performance. So it's very hard to demonstrate value to uh, an industry that's obsessed about performance if you're underperforming. And of course, as I said, roughly half, in any one year, roughly half the managers will underperform. Um, and so I think before that, we need to determine how is it that we're defining what value means? And I think you know value can mean lots of things. So getting good risk-adjusted returns is one thing, which doesn't necessarily mean outperformance, but it might mean um, you know, performing uh, well within certain constraints defined according to different risk parameters. That, for example, might be one way in which we could define value, or it might be in terms of providing a hurdle rate of return subject to certain constraints um, and uh, you know, at the same time providing a decent level of service and communication with the client. So I think there are different ways in which we can show value, but that may be, uh, you know, that may be something to discuss with clients on an individual basis, or it may be something that we need to perhaps suggest to clients from an industry, you know, standpoint on high. I don't think we do well enough sometimes in in selling ourselves to society and telling society about the good things that we do. All the bad things are very obvious, they're well documented in the press. Some of the behaviours that clearly um, were not desirable were highlighted during the financial crisis. And these behaviours, of course, attract the headlines, they um, read well in the tabloids, and people love to beat up people that work in financial services and portray this image of a bunch of overpaid um, people who are just in it for themselves and looking to make a quick buck at the expense of everything else. The reality, of course, is very different. That the vast, vast majority of people who work in financial services are careful, considerate, conscientious. They have the client's best interests at heart and um, they provide a useful social function. And that social function you know, it, it spreads across multiple areas. It might be the fact that thanks to financial services, we are helping people invest for the future so that they can lead happy retirements. It might be the fact that we help people to, um, uh, to borrow at reasonable costs and to, uh, uh, you know, to, to fund their houses via mortgages. You know, without the well-functioning financial markets, we wouldn't have a, a properly functioning mortgage market, and that, of course, would raise the costs. And of course, it's about the efficient allocation of capital. It's about um, trying to encourage um, good productivity growth, which of course is a benefit to society as a whole. Now, of course, CFA Charter is um, a great qualification, but it's really the starting point in one's career, and um, you know it's, it provides an excellent basis from which to build one's working investment knowledge. And if, you know, it's a lifelong journey of uh, of uh, you know, learning about the industry. It's, it's, it's a humbling industry. And I'm constantly reminded, almost on a daily basis, just how humbling it can be. There's always things to learn and always things to surprise you. The um, society in the UK is very much dependent on volunteers to make it successful. And thankfully, we have an army of very keen and very capable volunteers who help us. But I think we're constantly thinking about ways in which we can encourage more people to volunteer and in which we can make the volunteer experience more professional, which we, we can make the volunteer experience more rewarding. And by more rewarding, I mean both personally for the individual, so it can help them grow and develop their skills, but also in a way that um, it's mutually beneficial, so it will also help the industry and help the society. I think for me personally, one of the overriding aims was I felt that it's all very well to sit back and to say, I think the industry should be shaped in this way or in that way. But unless you actually get involved, then it's very hard to make a difference. That might mean in practice that 
my ability to influence the shaping of the industry is quite small, but I hope in my own small way I have made some difference. And of course, uh, getting involved in work with CFA UK or CFA, CFA Institute is a very rewarding and um, you know, it's very much a way in which one can help to shape the future of the industry. I think there's all sorts of different levels of volunteering. So, you, you know, some people are fully committed and are involved in multiple um, different aspects of CFA society, and that obviously takes up a reasonable amount of time. But other people just volunteer on a lighter basis, and um, really the society is grateful for any time and effort that people put into these things. Even a small effort can make a big difference. Some people just get involved in occasional projects, which it might take a bit of time, but um, it would be uh, for a limited period of time um, and other people get involved in you know, committees and so forth that are you know, a longer term commitment. But really there's all sorts of different levels. I would encourage people, if they see something that they think is interesting, then to uh, you know, knock on the door of the society and I'm sure they'll be welcomed with open arms. And even if they don't, if they just are generally curious about volunteering, then please speak to come to an event, speak to a representative from the society, and I'm sure they'd be very happy to uh, understand more about the ways in which you can volunteer and help the society.